Bereshit, Genesis 31. And he heard at the words of Levan's sons, saying, Yaakov has taken away at all that was our father's, and of that which was our father's has he gotten at all this glory. And Yaakov beheld at the countenance of Levan, and behold, it was not toward him as before. And Yahuwah said unto El Yaakov, Return unto the land of your fathers and to your kindred, and I will be with you. And Yaakov sent and called Rachel and Leah to the field unto his flock, and said unto them, I see at your father's countenance that it is not toward me as before. But the Elohim of my father has been with me. And ye know that with all my power I have served at your father. And your father has deceived me and changed at my wages ten times. But Elohim suffered him not to hurt me. If he said thus, the speckled shall be your wages, then all the cattle bore speckled. And if he said thus, the ring straked shall be your hire, then bore all the cattle ring straked. Thus Elohim has taken away at the cattle of your father and given them to me. And it came to pass at the time that the cattle conceived that I lifted up my eyes and saw in a dream, and behold, the rams which leaped upon the cattle were ring-straked, speckled, and grizzled. And the angel of Elohim spoke unto me in a dream, saying, Yaakov, and I said, Here am I. And he said, Lift up now your eyes and see. All the rams which leap upon the cattle are ring-straked, speckled, and grizzled. For I have seen at all that Lavan does unto you. I am the Elohim of Beit El, where you anointed the pillar, and where you vowed a vow unto me. Now arise, get you out from this land, and return unto the land of your kindred. And Rachel and Leah answered and said unto him, Is there yet any portion or inheritance for us in our father's house? Are we not counted of him strangers? For he has sold us and has quite devoured at also our money. For all the riches which Elohim has taken from our father, that is ours and our children's, now then, whatsoever Elohim has said unto you, do. Then Yaakov rose up and set at his sons and at his women upon camels. And he carried away at all his cattle and at all his goods, which he had gotten, the cattle of his getting, which he had gotten in Padan Aram, for to go to El Yitshak his father, in the land of Canaan. And Levan went to shear at his sheep. And Rachel had stolen at the images that were her father's. Then Yaakov stole away at unawares to Levan, the Arami, in that he told him not that he fled. So he fled with all that he had, and he rose up, and passed over at the river, and set at his face toward the Mount Gilad. And it was told Levan on the third day that Yaakov was fled. And he took at his brethren with him, and pursued after him seven days' journey. And they overtook him in the Mount Gilad. And Elohim came to Levan the Arami in a dream by night, and said unto him, 
Take heed that you speak not to Yaakov, either good or bad. Then Lavan overtook Eth Yaakov. Now Yaakov had pitched at his tent in the mount. And Lavan with Eth his brethren pitched in the mount of Gilad. Lavan said to Yaakov, what have you done that you have stolen away at unawares to me and carried away at my daughters as captives taken with the sword? Wherefore did you flee away secretly and steal away from me and did not tell me that I might have sent you away with mirth and with songs, with tabret and with harp and have not suffered me to kiss my sons and my daughters. You have now done foolishly in so doing. It is in the power of my hand to do you hurt. But the Elohim of your father spoke unto me yesternight, saying, Take heed that you speak not to Yaakov, either good or bad. And now, though you would needs be gone, because you sore longed after your father's house. Yet wherefore have you stolen at my Elohim? And Yaakov answered and said to Levan, Because I was afraid, for I said, Peradventure you would take by force at your daughters from me. With whomsoever you find at your Elohim, let him not live before our brethren discern what is yours with me, and take it to you. For Yaakov knew not that Rachel had stolen them. And Levan went into Yaakov's tent, and into Leah's tent, and into the two maid servants' tents. Maid servants' tents, but he found them not. Then went he out of Leah's tent, and entered into Rachel's tent. Now Rachel had taken at the images and put them in the camel's furniture and sat upon them. And Levan searched all the tent, but found them not. And she said to her father, Let it not displease my Lord that I cannot rise up before you, for the custom of women is upon me. And he searched, but found not at the images. And Yaakov was wroth and chode with Levan. And Yaakov answered and said to Levan, What is my transgression? What is my sin that you have so hotly pursued after me? Whereas you have searched at all my stuff, what have you found of all your household stuff? Set it here before my brethren and your brethren that they may judge betwixt us both. This twenty years have I been with you. Your ewes and your she-goats have not cast their young, and the rams of your flock have I not eaten. That which was torn of beasts I brought not unto you. I bore the loss of it. Of my hand did you require it, whether stolen by day or stolen by night. Thus I was in the day the drought consumed me. The drought consumed me. And the frost by night. And my sleep departed from my eyes. Thus have I been twenty years in your house. I served you fourteen years for your two daughters. And six years for your cattle. And you have changed at my wages ten times, except the Elohim of my father, the Elohim of Avraham, and the fear of Yitzhak had been with me, surely you had sent me away now empty. Elohim has seen at my affliction and at the labor of my hands, and rebuked you yesternight. And Levan answered and said unto El Yaakov, these daughters are my daughters, and these children are my children, and these cattle are my cattle, and all that you see is mine. 
What can I do this day unto these my daughters, or unto their children which they have borne? Now therefore come, let us cut a covenant, I and you, and let it be for a witness between me and you. And Yaakov took a stone and set it up for a pillar. And Yaakov said unto his brethren, Gather stones. And they took stones and made a heap. And they did eat thereupon the heap. And Levan called it Yagar Shahadutta. But Yaakov called it Galed. And Levan said, This heap is a witness between me and you this day. Therefore was the name of it called Galed. And Mitzah, rather Mitzpah, for he said, Yahuwah, watch between me and you when we are absent one from another. And rather, if you shall afflict at my daughters, or if you shall take other women beside my daughters, no man is with us. See, Elohim is witness betwixt me and you. And Levan said to Yaakov, Behold this heap, and behold this pillar, which I have cast betwixt me and you. This heap be witness, and this pillar be witness, that I will not pass over at this heap to you, and that you shall not pass over at this heap and at this pillar unto me, for harm. Then Elohim of Avraham and the Elohim of Nacor, the Elohim of their father, judge betwixt us. And Yaakov swore by the fear of his father, Yitzhak. Then Yaakov offered sacrifice upon the mount and called his brethren to eat bread. And they did eat bread and tarried all night in the mount. And early in the morning Levan rose up and kissed his sons and his daughters and blessed them. And Levan departed and returned unto his place.